cities and villages, from our trade unions, from political parties, from campaign groups, and from our communities, from everywhere across our nations. I want to thank you. I want to thank you on behalf of the People's Assembly for everything that you do. today in order to send a message to the political elite and that message is a simple one it is that if they think that they won the war of austerity on May the 7th they'd better think again if they thought if they thought on May the 8th that we were going to disappear well they'd better think Okay. And these secrets keep on happening. What more proof do we need that you have lied? Which side are you on, my boy? Which side are you on? Oh, which side are you on, my boys? Oh, which side are you on? What more for damage from which side are you on? The battle ahead is a defining one for all of us. The outcome will define not only our country, not only the lives we lead and that of our children, it will define the generations that are still to come. There's one abiding principle that runs throughout the history of humankind, that each of us, working together, should seek to build a better future for our children. It's a very simple principle, based on human progress and our own advancement. And I want to say something about that. Inspiration and ambition, the buzzwords at the moment, have always been central to our aims. The right wing are claiming it for themselves. But let me tell them that the desire for a better world, a peaceful world, a world where human endeavour is used to enhance all people, where solidarity and community spirit reign supreme. That has always been part of the Labour movement's DNA and we won't let them steal it from us. Comrades, I don't have a lot of time, so let me finish by saying this. The smug faces of the Tory MPs is based on a mirage. You are the voice of the many, many millions who seek a better life. We must not falter in the battles that lie ahead. And always remember that we must rise like lion because ye are many, they are few.